Good morning. Good morning. Working hard, drinking my morning coffee. We have a full day of eating and it's a Monday and Matt's home. Probably my favorite type of day. In here is some canned coconut milk, some collagen. What's the worst part of being a parent? You know, I mean, I, I love it all, but doing literally 99% of everything for the entire family and it going unnoticed. It goes noticed. Yeah, the kids just take us for granted, which is what we did, right? Mm -hmm. I just have to remind myself, like I was once this little monster who just screamed and tantrumed and forced my parents to do things they didn't want to do. I think me and you are more of the boomer mindset. Is that weird to say? We're not like as millennial as millennials are, right? Building a family unit is extremely important still. No yeah. offense to people who don't feel that way, which is what I was gonna say in my video when I apply when I apply to be on the circle for Netflix. You think that's a good good like twist? Hi. Hi. We are baking. Hi. Some banana muffins oh. this morning. I brought this so we can have some fun. What's your favorite thing to do? Cooking. Cooking. Baking. He loves baking. I love the pudding. You want to make muffins or loaf? Loaf. No, we're making muffins. Make muffins. Okay, let's turn on the oven. Okay. Put it on in. Okay, so what do you do? You press bake. Press and bake. Press and bake. Press bake. Press bake. Mama! What? Mama, come on! Come on. Okay. Let's do loaf. Do loaf. Do loaf in. I, I take a bite. Okay. Well, now we need more butter. Should we add the butter? Yeah. Uh, one, two, go. Mom, 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 mom. Chop, 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 chop. Oven, oven. Muffins. Do you want to try it? Go it, go it, go it, You don't want to try it? No. He's insisting on putting it back in the oven. Life with a two year old. Theo, look, there's a pony. Come here, let's look at the pony. <gasps> oh, pony. The pony likes him. The pony likes you. Oh, I see piggies. Oh, big one. Big one. Whoa. He's cute, right? Come on. What do you see? The horse is right there. Horsey. Good here. I go here. Okay, can you. Oh, good job. Okay. Can you try and take a bite? Is it yes. yummy? Is it yummy? Yeah. Oh, oh good there are 10 carbs. I didn't look. No, they're not. You're not as good as me at pulling those pranks. Okay, guys, what's going on? We just got out of Sprouts, which was pretty good. What? You you downplay everything. What? It was fantastic. It was fantastic. It was we each so did our good. top 10s. We're like doing like recipe videos. He's like, mm, this, is, this is pretty good. You maybe should make it at home. And he says Pioneer Woman sucks. I love her. And Matt should be more like her. So we found these new bars. We were looking for a snack anyway. I was like, I need a meat stick. Butcher's snack stick. And these are... Oh. 4505 brand. Yeah. So they're 170 calories for a meat stick. That's like a meal for some women out there. Seven fat, two carbs, and 24 grams of protein. So I've never tried it, but it looks good. So aside from our coffee, did you share your coffee? I had a coffee with butter and a half a scoop of protein powder. But Theo's at daycare, so you'll see him tonight and maybe you'll get some swim footage. Oh, we have swimming today. Well, you can't film in swimming. And I also got this Justin's peanut butter pouch. What's going on in the world? Yeah, these don't look great. No, but it's tasty. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look highly suspect. I like it. I'll eat it if you don't eat it. It'd be great for a road trip. Very vinegary. Yeah, right? In a good way. I like way. it though, yeah. yeah. Me too. I'm three and zero in fantasy football, so Which that's looking exciting. really promising. And he always says I am instead of we are. We are. Because we're a team. Okay, Felix needs to be fed. We gotta go home, right? Life as a parent, yeah. Do you love being a parent? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Give us something good, not just like. Favorite part is probably just like when Theo does something new or funny or like, like yesterday, Mega's mom's here and they were just like playing in her room all day. And he went out to get a snack and she came out and he was obviously like having a lot of fun in there. So he was like, no, stay in the room. And That's he's like ordering he people he's around. He's like, room, room, room. I showed you this peanut butter, right? Just a Justin's brand peanut butter pouch, which isn't the tastiest, but 
That's an on-the-go snack for me. Peanut butter is always tasty. You can't go wrong. Yeah, I feel like they went almost as wrong as you possibly could with a peanut butter pouch. Like, there's no salt. I think that's probably part of it. Our favorite peanut butter is Santa Cruz light roast. Yeah, I just tried it for the first time the other day. Top, top tier. Just went to Burger King, tried the burgers, ate some of them. So that's included in our day of eating. Yeah. Mega really liked them. I didn't realize that the flame broiled was actually a fact. I wonder how they do that. Maybe it's like a seasoning. How do they get the marks on the burgers? You Don't think ruin it for me. It's actually like over a flame, maybe? It might be. Yeah, it could be over a flame. Because, yeah, you can't just get that flame taste, right? They probably take a fully cooked burger and they put it like over the flame for a little bit, you think? But yeah, so this is... Well, we have left over. We got my mom a chicken sandwich. A little midday snack. This meat stick that Mega tried one of, and then she said it's the best ever, so she made me order three boxes. Because there was a sale going on. You're happy, right? I like them. They're really good. And a little cheese. Raw provolone. Where'd you get this from? Whole Foods. Yeah, this is really good. Good stuff. And it's about 3 p.m. Mega's making something for dinner soon. I'm going to go pick, or you're going to pick up Theo. And yeah. I'm going to swimming. This is my snack right here. It's still 3 p.m. Cashews and blueberries. So I'm going to pick up Theo right now. It's four o'clock and I made some chicken sausages for him. He loves those. He always downs it. And then he got this new snack container from the grocery store and he loves it. So I put some puffs in there for him. That's going to be his snack on the car ride home. And then I'm going to cook dinner and we got these, these cute little honey nut butternut squashes at sprouts today and i'm really excited to eat them so i got three one for each of us my mom me and matt you ready for secret juice <laughs> yeah. here it is close your eyes <laughs> open them what is that piggy <laughs> yay <laughs> you ready for swimming it's 5 45 and i have the oven preheated to 400 degrees and i'm about to start dinner so right here the cutest little squashes you've ever seen these are new. We found these at Sprouts today when we were doing our grocery haul. Right there, honey nut squash. So I'm very excited. So I did salt and cinnamon and some avocado oil, just coated each one. And then I'm flipping it skin flush side down. And then I'm gonna just pop this in the oven probably for like 35 to 40 minutes. And then for dinner, I'm heating up our skillet. There's some avocado oil in the bottom. And for Matt, I'm gonna make two beef patties there's only two left so i figured i'd make these for him and i'm going to use this go on masala which is like curry powder basically to season them it's so so good highly recommend it and then for my mom and i and theo will probably have some of this and the burgers i'm making this kevin's kung pao chicken i found it at whole foods recently it's new so i thought i would try it out they have a couple new ones they also have a chicken tikka masala and a chicken piccata and these are just really easy and quick for on the go dinners especially if i'm going to be cooking two separate things someone's back from swim and just had a tantrum outside yeah, theo tantrum was that you swim too. theo did you have two tantrums today it was almost my proudest parenting moment when we were driving to swimming i was like today you're going to be a good boy no crying and then when he got there, he kept repeating that. He was like, good boy, no crying. He kept saying it. And then uh, he like almost cried once and he was, then he said, I'm going to be a good boy, no crying. Whoa. So I was like, oh, he's really like, this is the first time he's ever changed his emotions or like tried to do something against his, you know, instincts. Be going, be going. And we have a sponsor for today's episode. It is a new one and it's a good one. It is LMNT Element and it's electrolyte pouches. So we tried these for the first time. I want to say like two months ago, I got them and I assumed it was like all the other electrolytes on the market. Flavor out of this world. Also the electrolyte content, the amounts is a lot better than most of those out there. So you can see it's a thousand milligrams of sodium. 200 potassium, 60 magnesium. So they got, their main thing is like these citrusy flavors, which is kind of what you would expect. But then they come through with this out of nowhere, chocolate salt flavor, put it in your coffee, the best flavoring there is. This is like my go-to. I definitely recommend the chocolate. The citrusy ones, most of them are really good. I just don't really like the orange salt that much. And that's my favorite. That's Megan's favorite. It's the one that I don't love. Raspberry is great. I think there's a watermelon too somewhere, right? Yeah, there's a lot. There's like a mango chili one. And guys, we actually do have a really good deal for you. So all you do is pay for shipping and you get one of these sent to you. It's a sample pack has, I think one of each flavor or at least one of a variety of flavors in here. So you get a good amount. 
All you do, I think it's $5 for shipping. So link down below, there is a special deal for Keto Connect viewers. Check that out down below. LMNT, good stuff. We have dinner here. So this is what the squashes look like. I did 30 minutes, and since they're so small, they cooked really well. They're nice and soft. And those are Matt's patties. There's, there's the chicken, me and my mom split, and I'll give you a taste test shortly here. Great dinner, clean plate club. These squashes are a hit. I didn't really look up the carbs on them but I assume it's like maybe similar to butternut, but it was kind of like spaghetti ish too. It was almost like a mix between butternut and spaghetti. Spaghetti squash is terrible though. I think I just overcooked it. Worst squash. Would you say it's better than butternut? Uh, yeah, I think I would. Pretty top tier squash. Yeah. I've been saying top tier a lot lately. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And I guess we haven't been talking like as much about our food and stuff lately, right? Have we? No, aside from us doing a whole 30. Cause I think when we first started our channel, like it was more new and like I was learning and telling and stuff but now it's just like a routine kind of so i don't talk as much about it but i've been doing the same thing for i guess like multiple three years at least just like bulletproof coffee in the morning a lunch meal and then dinner and maybe some snacks in between usually not a lot of snacks and if i do have snacks it's usually like one snack grouping all at once and not like spread out throughout the day. Um, I would say the squash is good. It tastes exactly the same as butternut squash to me. Maybe because we did cinnamon and salt, which is like the usual we do, so I couldn't really taste the difference. And then the Kevin's chicken, I said I would review. Really, really good. What flavor? Kung Pao. I grew up eating Kung Pao chicken, so I really have a good palate for it. It tastes nothing like traditional Chinese Kung Pao chicken. Plus it's missing like the water chestnuts and the peanuts, but it was really tasty. Recommended if you're in the market for trying a new Kevin's, which we got at Whole Foods. As far as my nutrition goes, I have not been doing the same thing for the past, probably like even six months because, or three months, because during pregnancy, things just happen. Things just find their way into my mouth. I make sure like 80 to 90% of the food I eat is quality, nutritious, whole. After Felix was born, we kind of just like went back to our foundation, like only cooking at home, veggie, mostly meat. And then this whole 30 challenge has kind of thrown a wrench into things. But starting October, I think, you know, I'm just gonna go back to my basic, which is a bulletproof type of coffee and then two meals and a snack here and there. But I'm more of the snacker throughout the day. And comment down below what your proudest parenting moment is. He's just left alone to fend for himself in my newest obsession, which is this baby Bjorn bouncer. It's literally the best thing ever. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna grab him. He's so big. Look at how big he is. How is, how is he different from Theo? He's way taller and chubbier. Look at how chubby he is. And he's way calmer. He's way happier. He sleeps great. He eats great. Like he is just the opposite, literal opposite of Theo. So I'm hoping this translates to like a dream toddler. Can you say hi? He smiles. <laughs> he also spits up a lot and Theo never spit up so it's very new for Matt and I. Ow. Oh. Hi. Ow. So for my after dinner snack I've been having it pretty much every night for the past at least week. This nut butter which we get from Publix. It's Santa Cruz brand and it's the light roasted one, although I just bought the dark roasted, so maybe I'll give that a try one of these days and let you know how it is. But this is just really top notch stuff right here. So I'm gonna have like three tablespoons or so, and maybe a tiny square of this dark chocolate, which is really tasty. That'll be my afternoon snack. And I made myself a nice little hot chocolate here. So I used collagen, almond milk and hot water from our kettle. I had to add this element chocolate salt because whenever I don't have it in my coffee in the morning, which I did not today, I like to make a hot chocolate drink at night. So I'm gonna sip on this while I play with Felix and that'll be it. It is now 7.13. So we are signing out, I guess, just me saying bye. Oh, and then we got this in a keto crate that I think I'll be making tomorrow with Theo since he'll be home from daycare. It's um. Simply delicious, sugar-free, instant pudding. He's like big into pudding and chocolate these days. Bye. Mm. Say bye. Bye.